Welcome to our AWS Lambda tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many .NET Core developers encounter. Our viewer is curious about how to access custom context and authorizer values in their Lambda function written in C-sharp. Let's dive into the details and see how we can unlock the full potential of the API Gave proxy request object. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now let's continue on. Let's start by understanding how to access the custom context in your AWS Lambda function written in C-sharp. You are already using the API Gateway Proxy Request object to access basic request properties. Now to access custom context or authorizer values, you need to look into the request context of the API Gateway Proxy Request. This is where the authorizer information is stored. In your case, you want to access specific properties of the authorizer, such as string key and principal ID. You can do this by navigating through the authorizer object. Unlike Node.js, where you can easily access custom keys using a simple syntax, in c -sharp, you need to ensure that the authorizer values are correctly set in your API Gateway configuration. Finally, make sure your API Gateway is configured to pass the necessary authorizer information to your Lambda function. This will allow you to access the custom context values as intended. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're looking to access custom context in AWS Lambda using c -sharp, here's a helpful approach. First, ensure you're using the .NET SDK. In the AWS API Gateway Mapping Template, create a JSON template that matches the API Gateway Proxy Request class. This allows for proper deserialization. In the example, you can extract the body, source IP, and user agent from the request context. Here's a sample JSON template. To access these values in your Lambda function, use the API Gateway Proxy Request and iLambda Context parameters. Here's how you can do it. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.